We are in an anchorage that's called um, Isla Espiritu Santo. It's a little anchorage between the biggest island of the Pearl Islands, which is called Isla del Rey, and a small island called uh, Espiritu Santo. And we're just anchored in a channel in between. Uh, it's about 10 to 11 meter deep here, and I have 70 meters of chain out. I like to play it safe. And um, yeah, it's just uh, Chaffin and Carl in the bay. Not many people really go to the Pearl as it seems, which is kind of nice because we got it all to ourselves. And it's a little surprising because they're really beautiful um, islands. So I'm a little surprised why people don't come here more often. We spent two nights here at the, at the Anchor Bay and um, the first day we went over to the other side of Isla um, Espiritu Santo. It's just really a tiny small passage through the mangroves and then you're on the other side and there's like beautiful beaches there and when the tide goes low you see like all these little tiny um, islands that are connected by land and you can walk around and explore and really beautiful colors and we tried to spearfish a little bit but uh, the water was really murky so yeah I actually nearly hit a rock that came up in front of me with my spear because uh, you just couldn't see you could like see that much in front of the spear actually. And um, yeah, on the beach, uh, Joel found a, a turtle that was oh. wrapped up in a fishing net, and she'd been thing. she or he had been stuck there for quite a while. So yeah. they cut them free of the net, oh, and um, yeah. Shady's actually a vet, and she does um, voluntary veterinary work from the boat. Usually, they spay animals on the islands, but also if they find an animal, for example, like this turtle, they try to help them as best as good as they can. Um, they also have a YouTube channel, it's called um, Bat Tail Sailing Chuff, so check it out, it's really interesting, they do a really awesome job. And they took the turtle back to Chuff and they built up a little improvised um, operation table and it was really cool to watch, it was really interesting. Nice. Alright, hurry up. Yeah, that's a strong leg, I know, I know, I'm aware of that. This normally should be quite flat or even a little bit... Uh, Convex, but he's, oh, is, yeah, but his is coming really far in, which means he's lost a lot of weight. And he's very dehydrated, so he needs to be yeah. fattened up, hydrated, surgerized, antibiotic. Hello, Mr. Turtles. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, look at all yeah. those goodies. Lots of things. The anesthetic. Um, and then some enrofloxacin, which is an antibiotic. So you need to calculate how much drugs you need to give him for the two yeah, kilograms? based on his weight, so um, especially the anaesthetic medication, you need to be fairly accurate, otherwise you can overdose and then they um, do not wake up properly from it or they don't go to sleep if you underdose, so especially turtles. Thank you. It's gonna twitch a little bit now. Mm, yeah. The uh, antibiotic. I've mixed it with a little bit of um, saline because it sometimes stings.
So I'll actually open here a little bit so I can see what this bone's doing. Open up here a little bit to try and figure out where this shard's come from and to see whether there's pieces that can actually be aligned. And once we align them, we can then either try to bandage it or pin it. Surgery condition. Best surgery condition ever. What a puppy. I'm just trying to expose this bone so that it can feel the other one. You're just going to shove the needle into the next to the bone and then shove it into the other end? Yeah, basically. Just a funny puzzle. This is his main bone, and even if that can just stabilize it, so once I've sutured, the bone doesn't move away from each other, the two pieces of bone, he'll have a much better chance of healing. Whereas without this, if the bone even just sits ever so slightly crooked, it's much, much harder for it to try heal. So when I move down here, that it's a bit hard to tell, but you can kind of see that this is rotating. Yeah, and before it was just flopping. Exactly. And he's got such thick, tough skin, it'll also help stabilize everything. Yeah, as because well. it helps to keep together. Yeah. Be He'll be fine. She'll be fine. She'll be right. <laughs> yeah, I'll be fine. I'll be just fine. Don't worry. I'll do my best. Thank you for saving me. <laughs> Ready. Oh, your little leg oh. looks cute like that, my friend. It does, it's all blue. And then at night we had a beautiful bonfire on the beach and grilled some stuff and uh, played some silly games on the beach as well, which was really nice. And today we wanted to do a little uh, excursion up one of the rivers here with Possum, which is the dinghy of um, Shetty and Joel. But uh, yeah, the tide was a little low, so <laughs> we had to actually park Possum and then just walk. But it was still really pretty and you know, you look at like an area and you have the feeling, well, there's actually not much around and then you take a closer look and all of a sudden you see all these little nifty you know, plants and animals that you can discover. Um, it was cool because um, Joel is a marine biologist so he could explain a lot about the animals that we found and saw. And that was uh, another cool little adventure. Not good? <laughs> a little muddy? I think it's mostly just the not knowing if the next step is going to be one on top of the sand or below the sand. So uh, a natural cleat. Oh nice. First sandal I've ever seen alive. Oh, you know, some sand that's really white and dead. Oh look, it's burying himself. Meow. They are such funny creatures. Yeah. What's he called? Pretty, pretty pattern making. Yeah. Ooh, pretty <laughs> pattern making. <laughs> so this is the it's pretty pattern tiny. making snail. Right, this is one of the mystery cans. It's in the pile of stuff that needs to go because it's kind of like out of date. 
But it doesn't have anything written on it, so we don't really know. I would guess it's muscles. Or poop. No, I think it's muscles. Whoa, look at this! Muscles! <laughs> We just gotta wait until the tide comes up so we can move past them easily. Yeah, it's been my first solo sail in ages coming from Viveros here to Espiritu Santo. And picking up the anchor, I forgot to take that little lever out that blocks the, the nut when you want to make it free fall. So I burned a little fuse and I was a little angry at myself for forgetting that, but uh, that's probably not gonna happen again so soon now. Um, but apart from that, it worked really smooth and um, taking up anchor was smooth apart from that and dropping anchor as well. The chuffs are taking up anchor now. Better hurry up because we're going to the next island which is called Isla Canas and apparently it's the safest anchorage in the whole Pearl Islands. So. And there's a little village too, so that's probably going to be pretty cool. And it's only six miles down, but you have to go through a narrow channel. Like It's nine meters deep, but there's a couple of rocks, so you have to be careful navigating through there. But more about that next week. <laughs> <laughs>